Good afternoon, and welcome to the Racine Art Museum in Racine, Wisconsin, for the 13th annual International Peeps Competition. You'll spend the next half an hour with us. I'm joined by Bruce Pepich, our Executive Director um, here at the Racine Art Museum, and I am Lisa Englander, the Head of Guest Relations in the Retail Division at the museum. Every year we do a wonderful show of Peeps related merchandise and we ask artists from all over the country to make a piece containing Peeps or the image of Peeps. This year is no exception. There are 162 wonderful pieces from all across the country, from California, North Carolina, Iowa and Massachusetts, and certainly Wisconsin and Illinois. I hope you'll enjoy spending the next 45 minutes to hour with us as we review all of the pieces to the best of our ability. A little bit of housekeeping on the Racine Art Museum. We are open Wednesday through Saturday from noon to four. There's an admission fee for the museum of $7 for adults, five for five for seniors and children under 12 are free. There are some available slots prior to noon if you have a group that you'd like to bring and I suggest that you call reception at 262-638-8200 to see if you can book one of those tour times. Also, we're doing a wonderful, wonderful fundraising raffle here at the museum. Raffle tickets are $5 a piece, five for 20, and the winner of the prize will get a wonderful Elna sewing machine and unlimited lifetime uh, lessons. So for those of you who like to quilt or like to sew, be sure you look at the raffle. Ready? Come on, let's go this way. That first piece you looked at was a piece about Goonies. Now we have a great piece called Toby in honor of a teacher we lost at Worcester this year, and I think what she's done is, instead of may, may naming him Tony the Tiger, which we all know from the serial, it's Toby the Tiger. And the peeps have been painted orange and make a wonderful form with its paper mache tail. As we come into the museum, we like to arrange the show by color, by subject, by age group. We're going to try to show you everything that's in here. This is a wonderful piece called Peep Triss. And Peep Triss is a gridded board, kind of like a periodic table. And the little guys are arranged laying up, right, center, to the left. Don't you think this is a wonderful piece? As we move further down the board, we have a wonderful unicorn by an under 12 child and they've used little marshmallow peeps to construct the piece. Below it is one of the two maps that we've gotten and you can see how the little peeps made out of polymer um, are on the state. Can you figure out where we are? Oh, I think we're right here by this little orange peep. The next piece we have on the wall, can you tell what that is? It's a wonderful spring sunflower as we head into spring. And this is a piece called Sunshine, where the artist has taken screws and made them as the centers of the sunflower and then has surrounded the whole sunflower with happy yellow chicks. Come on, we're gonna go down to the next wall. And look, we have another US map. We love this one because this person has actually taken peeps and notched them to fit. Look at this little face in here, how that's just fitting in. And then inside the little ears, there's another pair of ears the other way. And what island is this? Could this be the Hawaiian Islands here? But very, very nicely done. The Peepity States. A print by an Illinois artist who does for us, I think this is her second or third year, she does a monoprint. This one is about space men who are in atmosphere and they're surrounded by pink peeps of all shapes and colors. 
a piece by an under 13 who has taken the peeps and then had a grand old time um, painting, finger painting around and putting in peace symbols and peeps names and just took a canvas and filled it up with lots of colorful spring colors. Our next one, oh boy, I wish we had this in real life. This is cannoli. These are homemade cannolis that have been altered to have little peep heads come out of them. And this is a digital inkjet print. Doesn't that look delicious? Down here, this is Miss Yvonne's birthday cake. And it's a nice little painting with a picture of Miss Yvonne and then all the peeps surrounding the cake. As we turn to the right, we have a real interesting piece. We get a little slightly, um, the, the, the show has several different topics. Um, this one is the deciding decay, decade where it talks about climate change and things in the environment. If you look down at the bottom here, you'll see there's crustaceans and other forms. And the peeps all have little signs. Well, they want to save themselves, so save the peeps um, about how the planet will change. As we turn to go into the show, I'm going to pass my mic pack off to my executive director, Bruce Pepich, who is going to take you through the next part of the show, and I will see you in a minute. Thanks, Lisa. Hi, everybody. We're going to start with this section of the show. Happy to be with you and to share this with you. Now, kind of following on Lisa's discussion about the environment and environmental concerns, we have quite a few pieces grouped here that deal with the elements, that deal with land, sea, water, um, and air. But we're starting with, with Godzilla, who's not exactly a natural creature, but it's, it's a highlight of the show in the sense that um, the body of this famous science fiction star is made up, the, the back of the body is made up, the uh, part that is like a stegosaurus of, of scales, of peeps. You can see the peeps added in and painted, or it's really a very dynamic piece in that it circulates around itself. You get the sense that the, it is in motion. We have peepanees. The, the, the peeps are coming up out of the ground in a flower box. Again, at this time of year, that's one of the things that's very appealing about this show. The color reminds us about the earth coming back to life after sleeping all winter. In front of that is a sea turtle with a piece titled Under the Peeps. And the whole body of the tortoise is made up of melted peep candy. So again, remember to be in the show, you have to either be, you have to either use peeps candy in some way, shape, or form, or depict the peep image. We have next to it to the right a series of three peep bunny shapes, starting from the bottom and working up. We have the peep. Sommelier, the, the, it, this is made out of wine bottle corks that have been painted, but it's holding a bouquet of, of greenery that's starting to blossom at the same time. But of course, fermentation is an aspect of nature. Then next to it is Peeps are Succulent. This is a takeoff on uh, the new way of uh, creating plant decorations in buildings by creating walls of plants that hang on the wall. And this is in the shape of a peep bunny with a few blossoms of bunny peeps and chicks popping out in amongst uh, plastic succulents. And then we're ending this row of peep bunnies with sparkle peep at the top. It's a little too flashy to be all natural, but I do think it recalls again the beauty of flowers in nature. Some of these pieces, remember, are executed by individuals. Some are executed by children or adults working singly. Many of them are people working in, in pairs, family, groups and, and school groups as well. So starting in the back, we're looking at wind. We have a pinwheel that actually works. I can't spin it too fast. But it uses, this is made out of a variety of different kinds of papers, beautifully executed. Then we have helping clean our community 
for all people. We're clearing a park. Uh, the peeps are picking up the debris, it's something we do at this time of year after the snow melts, and we have to pick up things that have blown around during the winter storms. Next to it is, is a water park. So again, the, a water theme here with one of the peeps on a, on a, on a surfboard coming down the, the waves that the machines are making. And then following uh, just slightly above and to the right of that, following with that, that theme, is a piece that's titled, It's Okay to Peep in the Pool. I'm not sure about that, but we have peeps floating in the pool. It's in an area under, under greenery um, in an enclosed space, but again, they're enjoying the great outdoors, even if they're maybe in a more manicured space. Then we have two pieces referencing mermaids we, and, and mer people. The one on the left is, is basically titled, Mer People and the undersea creatures are based on, on peep character, characters, but they have fishtail bodies made out of felt. And then to the right of this is the Weeki Watchy Mer Peeps. This reminds me of all the ads I used to see on TV when I was a kid for going to Florida to visit the live mermaids in, in, in Florida. They were actually women um, who were working under, under, um, underwater pretending to be mermaids, and there's an audience in front that are, that are observing them inside their tank. Then next to this we have the wreck of the Queen Peep's Revenge. This is on the bottom of the ocean floor, and you can see the, the pirate's booty that spilled out from the, from the um, cask of, of, the, of gems that's to the next to the wreck, and we've got a shipwreck here with a few I suspect pirates that went down with the ship when it sank. Should we look at the wall behind us, possibly, to talk a little bit more about some different approaches? Now, we have a, quite a bit of things going on with the, the idea of grid work here. So, and, and patterns from nature. So to start here, let's look at a, we have a folded paper cut called Peep Flake. Many of us have worked on these when we were younger, where you cut folded paper and open it up and everyone is di a different star flake pattern. But in this case, the pattern is the bunnies from Peeps. And then under this piece, we have four paintings which Peeps have been attached to that, that, uh, um, that point out images of peace, love, happiness, and freedom, but you're seeing them presented in kind of a grid, a geometric grid. And I want you to keep that in mind because a lot of what we're looking at now is going to be looking at grid work. We have the living Peeps piece sign executed as flowers on a branch surrounded by a repeating pattern of lavender peep chicks and against that, that whole image of painted and collaged imagery is surrounded by a picture frame which instead of being carved wood is a simulated carved wood of painted and attached bunny peeps. A good message for us to have today. Picking up on the, on the grid idea is the display we have here of, of some of the quilt squares that some of our quilters have made for us. We always are very proud of this part of the show because so many people love to sew and work in fabric and they're, they're actually having so much fun with these ideas and they're also showing us the wonderful kinds of peep themed fabric you can buy today to carry on this idea. So we have hanging with my peeps, we have Betty Peep White, a salute to Betty White with, an anim with one of her beloved animals in it. We have one of the, one of the many balloon theme pieces we've just looked at in the show. And then this piece you have to look really, really carefully because it's sort of almost like a Where's Waldo composition because there is a peep in here poking out from among the flower, floral imagery. Can you see it? Have you seen it yet? There was one at the lower right and there's one in the upper left in this piece. So you can see the idea of the peep and the peep peeping. We have a peep hunt. We have peeps, I would say kind of a, ha, a Dutch themed uh, peep piece because we have peeps in a windmill with of course tulips blooming in the garden down below and we all look forward to tulip season at this time of year in this part of the world. We also have a piece here that incorporates a variety of different materials. This quilter has brought in a plastics and found three-dimensional objects to make these canoeing, kayaking peeps look even more believable and more dimensional. 
but it's created a very interesting surface on this quilt square. These are all a classic 12 inch square that could be stitched together to make one big peep quilt if we wanted to do that. And then we have a peep memorial quilt here dedicated to a friend. Then stepping back just a, a wee bit here, we have four paintings that are almost Andy Warhol-like in the fact that it's the same shape of the bunny peep. So that's recognizable from one piece to the next. These are all done by different, by different contributors, but each of them treats the surface of the peep differently in different color combinations, different formats, different patterning. And again, it shows you how a basic shape can be rethought by different people using their imagination. And the thing that I think as the executive director I'm most proud about is that this presentation every year includes people from all walks of life. The ages are from four, from four to almost 90. And in a couple of instances, some of these people are, uh, have various challenges that they are um, facing in their personal lives and we're really thrilled that they've chosen to participate as well and walk through those challenges in making their pieces. We're doing some fragment, fragmented imagery here. We have Snap, Crackle, and, and Peep. This is a, a collage, visual collage from, a, from a, a, a cereal box. And then below it, we have Peep in a Tub, somebody, we, another aquatic theme here. But this is in, in a diorama that was set up and then photographed, so we're showing the digital inkjet print. And then another grid composition. Many contemporary artists use the, use the idea of the grid to visually organize their compositions. And I think you're seeing that in the pieces we've shown you on this wall. They've been put together because of that with the idea of showing how you can, part, can, can, part, how you can compartmentalize sorry, in the same piece by seg, seg, segmenting the images. Then we have another piece here made out of fabric that's been done. And then on the bottom piece that we just came away from, we have images on the lower right that reference um, people like uh, painters like Grant Wood, stained glass artists like Louis Comfort Tiffany. We have uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night included in here as well. It's nine different people's styles, so it's nine different artist style of work. I see a reference, a little bit of a refer reference, I think, to Magritte here, and we have Magritte referenced in a couple of other places as well. This piece, the scrappy peep, is made out of scraps of fabric that have been woven into the shape of the peep bunny. I think we're going to turn around here to finish off the row of three-dimensional things we've looked at, and then I'll turn it over to Lisa to talk about the art, the artwork. We're using the idea of peeps as hair, different hairdos executed in peeps. This is peeps on my mind, and of course they are on this, this head figure's mind, but they are also forming the, something that suggests a, a crew cut or a stand-up hair, hairstyle. And next to it, the hair, H-A-R-E do, which references the bu bunnies from the, the, the peep candies. She also has um, a neck piece and also the, the collar of a blouse executed in peeps in different colors. Now we're starting to get a little bit into inventions. We have the Peep Brothers referencing the Wright Brothers flight in, uh, in Kitty Hawk that started us on our wonderful um, experiences with aviation. So we have, you'll be seeing some more of that in a little bit when we look at more uh, balloon so slower balloon traffic. And then next to that is microwave peeps. It's the mad scientist's laboratory. And we've got some, some creature that's been created, but it's, it's, not, it's melting, but also attacking some of, the, uh, some of the, the professors at work in the lab who are in shock as they view the scene. I'm going to turn it over to Lisa to talk about the next section. Thank you, Bruce. I'm lucky that I get to talk about the pieces that are specifically related to art things. And um, I'm going to start with the piece up on the top. As Bruce mentioned before, we're saluting the uh, late artist, uh, Rene Magritte, um, with a piece called P. 
peeping Tom at a peep. And um, it's one of the smaller pieces in the show, um, but very well done. Beneath that is a piece saluting the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. You've all seen this painting at the Art Institute of Chicago, only it's the size of this room. And this, this artist has taken the painting and then at the bottom has cleverly put in four white and blue and pink speckled peeps that echo the clouds in the sky. Moving along, up at the top, we have a photograph of somebody's ancient deer. Uh, and they have given it a chapeau with, um, or a hat with, with peeps adorning it. And isn't that cleverly done? Beneath that piece, we have a longtime entrant to this show who always does a piece celebrating um, famous artists. And this is a portrait of Leonardo da Vinci, only in her case, she's called it Leonardo da Pipci. On the table beneath us, we have art-related things like a classroom um, yeah, I... called Supervisor, where there are kids in various forms. There's a peep sitting in a wheelchair. There are peeps sitting and painting and reading um, in the classroom. Uh, and, and this is a, a, a piece that we're proud to have. We have lots of pieces in the show that do things. Um, they either light or they uh, are kinetic. This is a piece by one of our local artists, and he has um, done a piece about perpetual motion, and he tells you, gently tap the silver ball to get me started but remember not to touch or eat any of the other peeps in the room. Also on this table, we have a wonderful piece called Blueberry Violet, where somebody has made this very happy sunflower, um, only in blue and purple shades. Above this on the wall, we have a piece called Ram After School Art Club at the Knapp Elementary School. And here's a painting peep who is painting a self-portrait. Oh, no, it's not a self-portrait. It's a portrait of somebody else in purple. Down below us, we have a Lithuanian piece. It's peeps in a cage Lithuanian style. And below it is a piece I'm very fond of, which salutes a book called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl or the late Eric Carl. And it goes on to say, on Saturday, she ate through one piece of apple fritter, one brisket, one egg, cheese biscotti, one jaburito, one chocolate cupcake, one hot lanta dog, one soul roll, one chicken curry bowl, one catfish waffles, and one morning bun. That was a very hungry caterpillar, don't you think? Coming over up on the wall, we have a wonderful painting of peeps in the woods. And it's a picture of deer frolicking and then peeps within that. I think that's very nicely done, don't you? Coming down, we have three French hens a little uh, joke on the, on the rhyming poem. Uh, note the Chantilly lace that's around the frame. And then, of course, the peeps have been painted in red stripes and then have all been given little berets. Uh, so they're dancing in their little checkerboard space. To the left, we have an old American classic, Rosie the Riveter. And Rosie's been hand crocheted and dressed up and displayed. Behind her, we have another after school project, and they have formed this peep, peep out of um, paper mache and then hand painted it, and each child has signed their own peep. Up on the wall to our left, we have a great piece that's come to us from Denver, Colorado, and it's a photograph, an archival print photo 
um, beautifully presented with lips, plastic lips, and then the peeps are looking lovingly at the lips because they don't have any. Peeps have eyes and noses, but no lips. So how do you think that peep would look with one of those big red lips? Below that piece is a little keyboard thing, keyboard piece, with peeps in an environment, each doing their own thing, kind of like your household. And then we have a piece here called I'm Stuffed. This area is a little bit about, about um, food or the start of food. And I can hold up each one of these peeps to show you how it's hand stitched and cut. And then we're left with part of a dozen in an egg carton. Beneath it is um, an entry from our local prairie school where they have a glass making shop. And you can see that each one of these little cardboard tables has a little peep with a with a little hot rod and they're um, making some kind of Bunsen burnery glass piece. A uh, lot of kids in the class and this was a group entry. Coming up top, we have our Candy Warhol. Instead of Andy Warhol, we've made it very clever with the name. And so that's presented and discusses repetition of the image and nicely done. Beneath that, we have a piece called Peep Casso. And there's a little mannequin figure in there in a black and white jersey, just as Picasso would have done if he were painting in his studio. And he's lovingly painting a portrait of a peep. Up top, we have the first of our two salutes to the artist, Keith Haring. Haring was known as a New York artist. He's no longer with us, but he was known as kind of a graffiti artist because that's how he started. And this piece lovingly presents him kind of with, with wild blue eyes and a, a pink, pink mouth, and then the peeps joyously dancing around the frame. And the blue peeps frame the dancing image as you go on. The next piece down is an infinity box. And that is a piece that talks about the artist. You've all heard of Yoyo Kusama. And Kusama is a Japanese artist who's known for her repetition and her form and her infinite boxes that you look into this box and it goes on and on. Beneath us, we also have the other Keith Herring um, piece. Keith Herring was known for setting up his pop shops and he would draw these little images and dancing figures and um, and this artist or these artists have used peeps as one of his forms. On the end of this table we have a piece by a local artist and he works with recycled steel and I'm gonna show you how to turn it and how it Lots of it, there are lots of moving parts on this. You can't do that when you come to visit, but if I'm standing here, I certainly will show you how it works. Um, recycled steel, hand painted, and this structure is meant to look like the Racine Art Museum. You can see the banners on the side. And I like this very much, don't you? Come on with me, and I'm going to show you a piece that um, was the first prize for the family group and organ organization. You'll have to come in and look at all the plaques yourself. And when you see a name plaque, you will see a sign underneath it if they have won a prize. So that's how you can identify them. This is a clever piece by a little group who did an ode to the artist Wayne Tebowt, who also died this year. Wayne was a California artist who was known for his um, sugary candy cane colors, everything he did. Think of the colors of frostings, and his work was very much in that, in that color range, but he also liked to do very topical images, you know, like cakes or 
girls with big sunflower hats and um, lots of candy and food references. Can you do this? You want to try? This is a, a, a really interesting piece that's come in and you have to, I'm going to get you in the peephole and then I'm going to move. Okay, there we go. And you'll see what happens is this little peep will move back and forward. What do you think? Isn't this, this is really great. And in the back you see the, the Grant Wood portrait. And you'll have to come and try it when you come yourself. I'm going to pass it over to Bruce now, and Bruce is going to do the entertainment area for you, and then I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back for the shopping department. Did you do that? No, I think you missed it. <laughs> okay, sorry about the technical aspects of this. So we're doing um, entertainment here and we've got lots of references of course to films and television shows. So um, you've just seen kind of an old school hand operated uh, I would say a diorama in the Peep in the Ames room but we have even more contemporary technological references and approaches here starting with Real Me this NTF we actually have a piece that you access the image by uh, cluing in the QR code and going to view it on the, on the internet. And uh, we were excited to have that aspect um, represented, that aspect of our daily life represented in the show this year. And below it is um, a piece that depicts Sonic the Peep Hog. Of course, the new Sonic the Hedgehog film is coming out or it's out already. And so we're representing him in action here in this piece that's a combination of an ink jet print with a collage of peeps on top of it. To the left of it is a reference to say what we used to call in the 60s album cover art, um, a photograph of a band for their, their CD or their digital presence, um, a portrait, but also something depicting their brand as a performing group, and this group's named The Peeps. And then below it is a reference to The Lion King because the title is I Just Can't Wait to Be Peep. And of course, we've got everyone singing along, and we have uh, peeps in the bottom row that have been uh, manipulated to be to the um, physical aspects of elephants on them. They have elephant ears and trunks. I mean, it's a big reference to the many different kinds of animals and birds that were represented in The Lion King, which is why it's so such a favorite for so many of us. And then to the left, we're referencing some of the new technology we're using for uh, personal and family entertainment. This is a virtual reality headset. This is Peep Vision, so that when you look in the headset, you see three-dimensional peeps. Well, they're three-dimensional not just because it's good, a good virtual reality program, but it's also because they're three-dimensionally collaged inside the headset here. To the left, we have the a, a, a salute to the famous and very popular game show Jeopardy. This is, but this is Peeperty in which the contestants have their costumes on, and I don't think it's Alex Trebek, but it's someone who's helping out in Alex's absence. And all the, the categories of questions represent things like notable peeps and peepery and peep history. Lots of, what's great about this show is it always brings out everyone's interest and ability in making puns. And I think they're a much overlooked uh, use of the, of the language we're benefited to use here. People magazines cover. We often do lots of puns on the idea of peeps and people. This is a, a paper collage. And then to the left of it, this is the first appearance of the Bat Peep. This is a takeoff on a classic 1940s comic book cover. This is a digitally constructed image. The Batman, of course, is now a, a bunny peep, and his Robin sidekick is, of course, a chick peep. It's very clever. And then we, uh, of course, have the, the people, the onlookers, are wearing hats like they would in the 1940s and, and 1950s. It's, it's really quite a wonderful piece. Then below it, we have a work saluting. Let's see. We're looking here at uh, Peeps Got Talent. And of course, they have three X's, which means, of course, the three judges have approved them to go on to the, in the competition. 
but everyone's getting ready to show their, their skills. And the, we have a row of people in the audience, but, but we're all focused on what do the judges think. Quite an elaborate set. And then to the left of that is Cirque de Peep, a reference, to, of course, to Cirque du Soleil. So we have more. We have a box of popcorn up at the top, and we're looking here under the tent of, of the circus. And beneath that, we're starting to see the acrobats do their wonderful things that they do in Cirque du Soleil. But there's a cushion on the floor in case somebody falls. They, they'll, they'll get, they won't get injured. And then to the left, we have a reference to the Spider-Man franchise, as we say in show business. Here we've got a number of, of villains approaching Spider-Man here with his web. Caught, they're caught in his web. And we're in New York City in the middle of a bunch of high-rise buildings. Then to the left, we have a, a pretend film poster for Water Peep Down, a reference to Watership Down, which of course is a favorite book for a lot of people, but it's also made into a, a good film. But this is so well done, it even references the Racine, Kenosha, and Milwaukee film festivals, which are, there is a Milwaukee film festival, but Racine and Kenosha don't, don't have them, but it's a, a pet flicks original. And then below that, of course, a reference to the, a reference to the um, great film that's out right now called Encanto, the wonderful um, animated film. And this is one of the musical numbers. This is Dolores getting married. Now that's a contemporary family film that's much loved. And to the left of that is a reference to the Pe to Wizard of Oz, the Peeps of Oz. And they can, be bo they can both be your favorites. It doesn't matter what era they were made in. They both have great stories and wonderful messages. Now something that, that comes from my, my personal history a little bit more is the reference to the 1960s and the the micro bus. This is the peep in the box. It's a jack in the box with a bunny peep, but, but the bunny peep is also a hippie with long hair and beads and a peace sign. And it pops out of a jack in the box that is actually a VW micro bus, which was a great way to transport hippies in the 60s and 70s. And then we have another reference to music from that time period, Pink Floyd. This is a motion activated work. And of course, it talks about Pink Floyd's The Wall. And of course, the peeps are going down a conveyor belt and they're being converted into bricks that are being used to build the wall at the bottom of the piece. And of course, the workers are peeps bunnies, but they, their, their feet and legs are the ears from another peep that, that have been cut off and collaged on. Okay, which way are you going to the top, to the top left? Sure. All right, so we're taking a little bit of a look at things that remind us of the performing arts scene live, theater, and dance. This piece is Loving Lavender. We're loving the color of lavender and shades of blue and lavender. But, it's, but we also have peeps occupying the same space as the colors, and they're sort of stringing along on a clothesline, but I think, see this as a dance composition. You've got pairs and singles of peeps dancing in front of a beautiful staged background of abstract color. And then to the left of it, we have another group of dancing peeps. You wonder what, what the peep characters are sitting on. The chicks are sitting on, on obviously rather long legs because the ballerinas here are in good shape and dancing on point on their toes. Beneath them, directly beneath them, we're referencing two very important people. Um, the first one, of course, is the great musician Prince. And this is People Rain, referencing Prince's favorite color and, of course, the song that, that he made famous. But we also have different Prince songs referenced on the bottom because the peeps in the, in the front in the front, one is a dove crying, one is 1999, one is raspberry beret, and one is kiss. Very, very cleverly done. To the left of that is Doc Peeperson. Before Jimmy Fallon and the Roots took over the Tonight Show years ago, 
Doc Severinsen was the band leader for Johnny Carson when he hosted The Tonight Show and he was a trumpet player. And so here we have, have the Peeps version of him belting out a song on his trumpet and the musical notes that are coming out also have Peeps attached to them. Additional references to scenes from films and also things that you see on television are Peeps Lightning. I'm thinking the Greased Lightning number from, from Greece. And then to the left of that, we have Peeps Patrol, a reference to Paw, Paw Patrol. Some of the, some of the contestants be became very, very involved in creating fabric um, outfits and clothing for the Peeps. So in some instances, the, the Peeps candies are as you see them in the box, but in other instances, they've been altered and, and put in specific garb to go with. And this is an example of a very elaborate set in which all the characters have something that references who they are in the scene. Then next to this is a dance competition. This is K-pop peeps, so it's referencing the K-pop groups in South Korea. But it's also a stage presentation taking place um, theoretically in Racine. And then referencing then referencing another um, aspect of life with computer and computer entertainment, we have the um, peep craft here, the Minecraft reference, and the fact that many, that many people um, enjoy doing that on the computer. But it's great the way that this person has actually taken some peep characters, some peep candies, and fronted them with, with Minecraft, did Minecraft sort of pixelated imagery. We're going to go around the, the pedestal here. Here's a stop here first. The village people, again with a great pun on people being peeped. And again, another good example of making costumes for the peep candies. And then I think just going around the column here to a large figure here. This is the, the Enster Bunny, as opposed to the Easter Bunny. But it has a peep coming out of the top of its, its, its head. And it's offering you a peep as well. So I don't know if it's giving it a ride, or it's offering it to us as a snack. I think we can, I'm going to hand this over to Lisa, where we're, we've got a section that deals a bit more with science and a variety of other shopping. shopping. Thank you, Bruce. You know, I always get the qu asked the question, has, can I enter this? Have, has anybody done this before? And in all honesty, and we've probably seen 2,500 pieces in the last 13 years, even if we get something that's repeated, it's done in such a differently unique way that um, there's little reference to a piece that was done prior. The rules of the competition are that you have to follow the size um, dimensions. We have very specific dimensions listed online. There must also not be any other type of food product other than peeps. And the piece must be family friendly. That is absolute. Um, but with all the interest in, in um, space travel lately, um, this little piece entitled um, One Giant Leap for Peeps really um, had our attention because it really does talk a little bit about space travel. And there are so many things changing in that right now. As we walk around to the left, um, this was also a year that we had a couple of mad scientist uh, things. This was an honorable mention for under 13, and this is called the Mad Science Peeps Laboratory. Uh, we don't know quite what they're doing here, and uh, 
and how they're manipulating the little peeps in the cages, but I'm sure you can use your imagination um, on this piece. We received for the first time this year a lot of environments, a lot of um, shops and pool parties, and this piece was no exception. This is the Peep Hospital. Um, it's a veterinary medicine peep, and you can see the little peeplets laying on the exam table where they're being examined, um, and then they're in a recovery room over here, and then down on the bottom, they're in for a visit, and my favorite part of this is up on the roof where everybody wants to sun themselves and recover. Moving to the next piece, this is called orthopedic surgery, and this is one of two surgery rooms we've gotten over the last 13 years. The last one was the colonoscopy. Um, and you can see how the little peeps have all been dressed with their masks and they're performing some kind of surgery on a peep. It looks like intestinal, but I, I'm really not sure. But everybody's appropriately covered and safe. As we move on, we get into a whole bunch of really nifty little shops that have been made. This is the Sweet Peeps Sweet Shop, and you can see that the peeps are looking on the table at some little tiny peeps that have been fashioned, and they're having a grand time shopping for sweets along the window and everything else. The piece behind it is about peeps going, all peeps go to heaven, um, and it's little blue and yellow peeps in, in angel dust with little wrought um, halos. And then the next piece we have before we come down is a salute to the Hone Bridge in Milwaukee. Um, somebody has uh, fashioned peeps along the whole uh, arch structure of this piece and then wrapped it in lights so that you can think of the Hone Bridge when you're traveling from Racine to Milwaukee. Down below us, join us at Star Peeps where you can pick a coffee or a baked item such as a croissant, a roll of banana bread, an egg sandwich, or cake pops. And it looks like these guys are having a dandy little time. There are Peep servers, one guy with a headphone bopping away. And on the right hand side, the Peeps are all sit, sitting and looking at computers with peep images on them. I like that they have curly hair, um, but I think it's interesting that peeps have hair at all. I know they don't have lips, I just didn't think they had hair. This piece is the Peeps Market, and this is the Young People's Award winner first prize because everything in this is so interestingly made. Um, all the little buckets that have bananas and grapes and apples um, are hand done and painted, um, and then the peeps are standing and questioning whether they should buy the red apple or the green apple, and then there's a little checkout area where the little peeps are checking out, so that's welcome to the peep market. Our next piece is entitled Peep Can Cafe. And you can see that this artist has done a painting of two little peeps in a can in the back, and then she's included peeps in cans throughout the whole piece. I like this, don't you? Our next piece is the Peep Boutique. Two ladies who got together and said, oh, well, I can't get to the store and shop, so I'm going to do a little Peep Boutique. In the corner, the next one we have is the Peeps Park Pyrotechnic, and we like that the, um, the red, silver, and blue um, sparklers are made of actual Peeps. To the right, we have the Peeps laundromat. 
that even has a little peep dog in one of the dryers, but we don't suggest you do that with your puppy. Next to that, we start to get into um, fun and relaxation things. You can see here that they're playing volleyball. And the one beneath that, they're playing tennis. And then as you come back around, you see the kayaking peeps and the open RV. The ski lodge peeps with their funky ski, ski glasses. And then a young lady's peeps pool party, which is exactly how I think your pool party should be. We're particularly fond of the peeps who got who you just see from the head up as they swim. I'm going to pass this on to Bruce so he can do the next group for you. Thank you, Bruce. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, we have a combination of, of outdoor activities. I can go wherever you'd like to start. How about over here on the left? So I'll be describing this so that we can pick up on things. We have a, a collage of flowers inside a box made up of cut and reassembled peeps with paint. Um, very effective use of, the, of peeps as a textured material. Below it is peeps in a Jeep versus elf on a shelf. This kind of appeals to the naughty little boy in me as, as two peeps try and run an elf from the shelf <laughs> down. Um, and it's, Kind of silly and another Christmas thing is right below it is Christmas in Peepville in which the the gingerbread shape gingerbread man shaped peeps are the characters in the diorama it's a Christmas wonderland in the snow we have a variety of, of pieces that deal with um, exterior fun and also you know, things to do outdoors and indoors starting with the light up sign spelling out the word peep with some medallions hanging from it. Then below that, on the left, we have a peeps-themed carousel with dinosaurs and unicorns, kind of every kid's favorite thing, I would think. To the right of that, summer activities. We're outside at the beach. We're at a Ferris, on a Ferris wheel. To the right of that, can't Stop the Peeping, a reference to the, to the Trolls movies. And the trolls are made out of peep bunnies that have fuzzy troll hairdos attached to them. Then above this, we have a reference to not being able to, to stop eating marshmallows and a funky, a funky character that's half human, half peep, dancing to music coming out of a boom box to the right of that. And then to the right of this, the, the light bright version of Peep's characters, which, li which lights up, which is all lit. To the right of this, we have one of, I mentioned earlier that we had hot air balloons elsewhere in the exhibition, and to the right of this we have a quilt, another quilt, but a large-scale quilt depicting peeps ascending in a multicolored hot air balloon. And then under it, a three-dimensional hot air balloon made up of, in which the balloon itself is made out of peep candy as is the basket down below, which is, and it's carrying the gingerbread peeps as passengers. And even the Christmas peep candies are used for the landscape down below. To the left, we have an artistic egg hunt in which the peeps all bear images of famous artists from Van Gogh to Frida Kahlo to Salvador Dali, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and Andy Warhol, and Leonardo. To the right, we have a reference to Alfred Hitchcock's 
the birds. In this case, instead of tipihedron being, being assaulted by seagulls in a, in a phone booth, we have bar, a Barbie doll being attacked by Peep's chicks. And then to the right, we're referencing Batman again with the Bat Peep film playing in a cinema and the people in the lobby waiting to get their popcorn to come in and join the group inside the theater. To the right of this, another kind of celebration is the celebration of the, the Milwaukee Bucks win, winning of the NBA title last year. And we have a, the trophy executed in gold painted peep candy. And to the right of this, another reference to Minecraft, in this case executed in paper collage. Tyler over here. Okay, can you find the peep in this composition? This is a, a collaged and painted composition, and if you kind of tilt your head, it's the rabbit shape leaning towards the left. Lots of exciting, visually exciting patterns and different color combinations assembled together. Then behind us, we have more references to outdoor activities. We have the beach volleyball game which we do have here in Racine, a lot of that down on Lake Michigan. We have peeps at play playing tennis and a tennis court. We have cooking indoors. These are peeps over easy. Not only are we cooking peeps, but we're the, the skillet is made out of peeps. And below that, we have the bunny box in which bunnies are playing on grass, but the grass is made up of peeps that have been painted. To the right, we have a takeoff on Friends Central Perk. This is the Central Perk Peeps with all the friends in their costumes having coffee together in a coffee shop. We next have Peeps Porridge Hot playing off that famous children's limerick. This is, all, this is made out of ceramic. I can open the, the, actually, the floating porridge with peeps is actually a functioning lid for the ceramic bowl. Then we have a tower of peeps behind this. A peep, actually a big, large peep topiary. And to the right of that, we have a cake, a very elaborate cake that's floral on the inside, inside the cut, and the peeps are the exterior decoration. To the left of that, we have a reference to the Mad Hatter's Peeps Tea Party, Don't Be Late, sitting around on top of the hat, have, enjoying tea. A little bit of travel is covered here with New York City's Peeps World, with Peeps characters moving from one building to the other and the landscape of painted pine cones. And then behind this, the peep ball mushroom. I'm now gonna turn this over to Lisa. Hello everybody. We're still in the outdoors, the great outdoors, and enjoying our look at home. Over here with the large barn piece, we have Little Bo Sheep. Little Bo Sheep has lost her peep. And below it, the Jelly Peep Campground. Talks a little bit about this table as you come to the end of the show talks a little bit about home sweet peeps here and then all peeps are welcome which is sort of how we feel about this show 
and camping with my peeps. Be sure to look for your prospectus online towards the end of this year because the show will take place around Easter time next year. A Jeep with a heap of peeps, cleverly done. What do you think? Remember not to eat any peeps when you come and see the show. They've been glued and taped and they're just overwhelming. And then our cameraman Tyler is going to pan this next group and then we'll focus a little bit. This is our salute to the Ukrainian conflict. Um, so we have up in the upper corner a peace symbol called Give Peeps a Chance. And then beneath that is one of the quilt squares that we singled out because it is Ukrainian and it does have Ukrainian Easter eggs in it, which is a big craft item in that country. Beneath, there are three lovely pieces tucked in here. The glass peepkin, the enameled plaque, and then a piece called Peeps for Peace down in the corner, a wearable necklace. Up top, we have homage to Dr. Chicks. And the piece below it is Voice of the Peeps. And that also has um, and QR codes in it that you can scan. Down here is a piece done by the Women of Worth Treatment Center. And they have also done a piece saluting the Ukrainian conflict where the little peeps are sitting around the table painting Ukrainian Easter eggs. You can see one large one here in the corner and then they've made a little tiny egg for you to see there. Hanging with my peeps made out of Play-Doh and peeps. And then Peepadarity, a beautiful ceramic piece in the corner. The last piece in this grouping is a, a piece, Long Live the Ukraine. And we'll finish sort of with that. Um, and it talks about the Ukrainian conflict that's ongoing at the present moment. Our last piece that we'll show you is the piece above our head. And this comes to us from uh, um, Fairfield, Iowa every year. And this is a, um, a, a wonderful piece called um, the Peeps Butterfly Mobile. And you'll see that they have worked a peep in the spine of each one of these lovely butterflies. And I will leave that with you as our final piece today. And I will thank you for joining us as we talk about the Peep Show, which is on through April 27th, thir April 23rd. See, I don't want to keep it out longer than it is. April 23rd, which is a Saturday. The museum's hours are Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 12 to 4 every day. And the show will run for another two weeks. Don't forget there is an admission fee, and you can call 262-638-8200 for any additional questions that you might have. We thank you for joining us today and hope you enjoy the Peep Show as much as we all like working on it. Thank you. Questions? Any questions? Do you have any questions? Thank you.